Hi, my name is Tom and welcome at XPB. I'm going to be your instructor for today and if you have any questions at the end of the video, please ask us, we are happy to help. You can find our information right here. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create attributes for your product. To get started, we have to go to your products, open up a project and go into the configure option and find the attributes. If you have prepared any questions and options beforehand in your 3D model, they will automatically appear here as a question. You don't have to create attributes for normal questions. To create a new attribute, you go to the top right hand corner and select add attribute. Inside of the add attribute menu, you can find the type of attributes you want to add. For now, I want to add a math group and we can give it a name in this case we're gonna call it phone color and we say add load now you can see it created the attributes below the question you can open up this attribute by selecting the pencil and you will get the properties menu inside of the properties menu for this case, the math group, you can select which material group you want to edit with this. So for this case, we want to select the body. We can also see the display function. This will give you different ways to show your options inside of your configurator. So for now, we can say tiles compact. And this is all to create a math group attributes. Remember to always save the changes you made also in the top right hand corner the blue button because every unsaved progress will get deleted. So now if we go to the preview we can see what we have created. On the right hand side we now have the attribute the logo that's the question with the answer on and off and also we have the attribute phone color but there are no options inside of it because we haven't created a math group yet. This will be shown in a later video. To change around the order of your questions, you can simply select the three bars on the left side of your attribute and drag them around. So if I want phone color first, I can drag it to the top and it will be the question will be above the logo. So if I save my changes here, and we go back to the preview we can see that my phone color will be my first question and my logo will be my second question also inside the attributes we can create steps steps are used to order your configurator to your liking we can add these by going to the add attribute button and under type we can select step and we can give the step a name so in this case, we can call it something like phone outside. Let me say add node. Now we have created the step. It will add it below your other attributes. If you want to add one of the attributes to that step, you can go inside of that attributes properties. And you'll have the option for a parent. So in the select parent dropdown, you select your step. So in this case, the phone outside, and it will add them to this step. It's also possible for the step to move it around. So if I want it to go back above the logo again, I can just drag it up. Again, save my changes. And if we go to the preview, we can now see we have a step and inside of that step is the phone color. We can make this a bit more obvious if we add another step and put the logo inside of it. So I'll create a step called logo. We add the node, go to the properties of the logo, select the parent logo, and we select save changes. Now going back to the preview, 
you can see we have a phone outside step and also a logo step to interchange between. The look of the steps can also be changed. Going back to the attributes and to the options of the steps. You can see here the display properties is now called a collapsible. You can have a horizontal stepper, vertical stepper or a custom. Just play around with these and select the one you like the most. Also inside of the attributes, there are many more options of creating. So we talked about the step. We can also have an header. That's just a title for a question. The actual questions, the mat groups we created. We can also add a color attribute. So this is used to set a color of an object. We can have a color picker. So this is used to give the user the choice of a color inside of a full color spectrum. We can have an image uploader. This is used to have the user upload their own image. We can have a text input if you want them to have a possibility to add text. Uh, we have a text to image. This will give the opportunity to have the user type in a certain amount of characters that will then be projected onto a image plane onto your model. And we have a operable numbers input. This is so that your user can put in some numbers. For example, if they want a certain custom size, this function will make sure that they can put in any kind of numbers or in this case sizes that they want. Just play around with the different types of attributes. Just add them and look inside of the properties. Most of them will have an easy layout to check what you want. This was the overview of how to create attributes. So in this lesson, I showed you how to create mat groups and also steps. I explained all the different attributes and most importantly, attributes are something that you have to play around with to check what you want, what you need, and also how to display them to your liking. Thank you for following along in this lesson and I hope to see you in the next one.